आज सौ साल पुराना है हमारे गाँव की बस्ती पूरी अटपी हुई पानी आज ये सवा सौ फुट गहरा है पर इनमें पानी बिल्कुल नहीं है पाँच साल से सूखा हुआ है हमारे गाँव लोगों को सब परेशानी है दो तीन साल से अकाल पड़ रहा है और कोई गुजर है नहीं गाँव वाले तो अकाल रात में सब बाहर गए हुए कोई धन है तो पशु धन दे के बाहर गए है कोई मजदूरी के लिए गुजरात गए है कोई एम पी गए है This is Arjun Singh, a farmer with a small land holding in Rajgarh village in drought-prone western Rajasthan. बरसात हुई थी तो उसमें मैं खेती बाई ही खेती बाई तो मेरी बरसात हुई नहीं खेती नहीं होने वजह हूँ कहीं है हमारी फसल खराब होगी पूरी नष्ट होगी है तो दोबारे मैं ट्रैक्टर का ही पैसा दिया है बीज का ही पैसा दिया है तो वो कहीं आया कहीं माथे पड़ गया तो कहाँ से पैसे ला रहे हूँ कहाँ से दोबारे खेती नहीं करा सकूँ उन वजह से क्या है कि Despite the odds, Arjun Singh is an optimist, and unlike other villagers who migrated in search of better opportunities, he chose to stay on and battle a hostile climate, severe water shortage, and a lack of livelihood options. Conditions in villages dotting Balasar block of Jodhpur are no different from Rajgarh. The block gets less than 300 millimeters of rainfall per annum. Irregular and uncertain rainfall, followed by drought and famine, seems to follow an inevitable three-year cycle. Of the 36 droughts that occurred in Jodhpur in the 20th century, 13 were classified as severe. It was in the 80s. We had severe droughts, and we started work there. But that was more like drought relief. We realized there's a great need in that time. The malnutrition was there. Uh, water sources were inadequate. and whatever there was was contaminated and um, majority of people in this area were the men folk were in the army but there was very little other agriculture or employment opportunities locally so life was very hard during a drought the state government and ngos distribute essential commodities at subsidized rates and create some forms of wage employment While these measures provide emergency relief, they do not address the root cause of the problem. We continue to do whatever little we could, but then we realize that uh, one needs a bigger, bigger kind of program and something that is sustainable uh, that will change, help them to change their lifestyle, and become more self-dependent. These conditions prompted the Sir Ratan Tata Trust to play a proactive role in the area and initiate drought proofing in West Rajasthan. A project in collaboration with His Highness Maharaja Hanwant Singh Ji Charitable Trust, MHSCT. The focus is to evolve technological and organizational innovations for integrated development of drought prone areas. Project Sahyog as it is known has helped implement drought relief rejuvenation through the recharge of water sources provision of drinking water and animal husbandry initiatives across 16 villages in Balasar since September 2002 24 water harvesting structures with a storage capacity of 20.57 million cubic feet have been constructed at a cost of almost 92 lakhs of rupees. 33% of this amount was capital contributed by the community. Nothing works, nothing produces result without the people's participation. The plan must be evolved through their discussion sometimes what happens the entire silt is washed by a river and deposited in a particular man's field at the end of the run now he benefits because the, all the manure and everything has come to his field free of cost so he won't want the any cut to be constructed because if he does that silt won't come so in our case what we did was that we motivated people to discuss their problems and find a solution for themselves although we had to put in the technical inputs once they realize that these are their problems and that they themselves have evolved a solution to it 
that they themselves have decided to do a particular work, then that work will be executed with the quality control, it will be easily maintained and sustained. Data collection has shown an average rise of groundwater level by 25 feet in the area. Despite the successive failure of monsoons, in 2002, 2004 and 2005, these 16 villages continue to enjoy adequate availability of drinking water through wells and hand pumps. और और फिलो से जाता वो ज्यादा नुकसान नहीं करने लगा लोगों के जो खेती की जमीन खराब होती थी वो आजकल सुरक्षित रहने लगी और भूमि का कटाव भी नहीं होने लगा चार साल पहले करीब मेरे यहां एक ट्यूबवेल में 20 22 स्प्रिंकलर चलते थे और आज करीब 30 35 स्प्रिंकलर चल रहे हैं हमारा प्रॉफिट भी बढ़ गया लगभग दुगना जैसे 25 क्विंटल होता था तो आज 50 60 क्विंटल उत्पादन हो रहा है in three years, there was no more rain, which was less than the average. And if there was a lot of rain, there was more rain. So, there was more rain.